I'm here with Patrick Mukabe at the Dust Tipo Art Studio, and it's my privilege to find Patrick because <laughs> he travels all over everywhere teaching. Um, what is your youngest student? Uh, the youngest is about uh, four years old, three to four years old. Three to four years old. Yes. And how old is your oldest student? Uh, uh, the one I have right now, she's uh, about 86. <laughs> Eighty-six. Yes. It, where does she stay? Nairobi, somewhere in Hollingham. Really? Yeah, she's a grandmother, great-grandmother. Uh-huh. And, um, yeah, we just do classes with her. The same way we do with the five, six-year-olds. Uh-huh. We do the same classes. Uh, now, are you still teaching at the Hub? No, hub, uh, we shall be there in August. Uh-huh. But uh, now we go to different malls, different times, different malls now. Timor, Galleria. Uh-huh. Uh, so we go different places now. So they, August they, will be in Hub again. Where? At the Hub. No, the last time we went to a school with you was Brookhouse. <coughs> yeah, Brookhouse. But where else do you go? What other schools? Uh, Brebon, uh -huh. Garden Brooks, which uh -huh. is also in Garden Estate, uh -huh. um, Hillcrest, uh -huh. uh, and then oh, many, many schools. Um, Aquafa is a school in Karen. Uh -huh. uh, wow. Well, now tell me, Patrick, how many here at Dust Depot, yeah. let us to just do a quick go round to see where is, there's my friend Kathy, and I want to, now where's Michael? Michael is here. Michael, let me say hello to Michael. Hi. <laughs> Michael teaches, Michael Nereri, yeah. he also teaches with uh, Patrick, uh, we give you lots of credit, and then you can see. We have some other artists here. Hello. How are you? What's your name? Julie. Julie? Yes. And then some gentlemen over there. Mike. Is this uh, Johnny? Uh, Johnny and Leo. Uh huh. So now, Patrick, yeah. how many students, young artists or old artists, how many people are based here at Dust Depot? We have, we have about 20. 20 who are regulars. Regular ones. But all together? Comes up to the days we are here up to 30, uh, 40, even 50 sometimes. You've had 50 sometimes? Yes. So now, depending on the season also, when school's in, school's out, different numbers come in and out. Now what does that tell you about people's desire to do, cre to be creative? Oh, there's big, a big need for people to express themselves. Uh -huh. There's um, people who are in the wrong careers, yes. wrong studies, uh -huh. and their heart is more in the creatives. So uh -huh. we get, it's, um, it's a big problem. I can say it's a big problem. A big people, problem? Yes. People but you charge a little bit, I hope. Yeah, of course, of course. There are classes we charge. And then there's also pro bono, a lot of pro bono. I think there's a lot of pro bono. <laughs> I think a lot of people come to you and say, Patrick, I want to be like you yeah, I, I want to be an artist is so, that yeah, true not everybody can afford to pay yes and if somebody makes the time and looks for me uh -huh. so it's, it's hard for me to let them down but i think there are so many young artists today who credit you as being their inspiration hopefully yes <laughs> yes yeah. now i think you don't just work in kenya you work outside yeah yeah I do, I've done classes with youngsters in Denmark. Denmark. Uh, grown-ups. Where? Uh, Holland, Denmark. Uh huh. Uh, Silkeborg, Holland in Tilburg. Uh huh. Um, oh I thought you said it? minimum 20 countries. Yes, uh, most of Europe I've worked with. And then Africa, uh -huh. at least like six countries. Which ones? Um, Egypt, South Africa, Tanzania, Uganda. Uh, where else? Yeah, where else? Like that. Uh huh. And then India, work with kids. Uh, uh, India? Also, yes, yes, again. Some time back. Uh huh. And then, yeah, Europe. Yes. They start with uh, Denmark, Holland, Holland many times. Uh huh. Uh, Denmark, I have a school I go to every year. Uh huh. And every year? Yes, yes. Uh huh. Um, Norway. Uh huh. Uh, Wow. Every year. Yes. Uh, France, I've been to France also. Uh huh. UK, of course, many times. Now, when do you have time to do your own art? 
Uh, everything comes at the right time. Uh -huh. um, for my paintings, usually mostly early in the morning, uh -huh. at night, uh -huh. and then late in the evening. Now so, I think this so is today something. I just want to start. Oh, this one, the, the beautiful the purple, purple yeah, beautiful. Yeah, the purple, yeah, and the these ladies one. here, this one is a what, uh, what are they called? This is a Mama Kibanda series. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm telling, uh, just by the roadside, something you can see on the roadside. Yes. Uh, playing with light and shadow, gestures, uh -huh. poses, and then drapery also. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, I think that this is my privilege to catch you today. <laughs> uh, and thank you, Michael, for being a supporter of Patrick. It's really, I'm sure you're grateful to have assistance to help yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Uh -huh. We get uh, different characters, different years. Uh -huh. It's good to meet a wide range of people.